Every day, more and more people are discovering the benefits of bicycling. It's healthy, relaxing, and fun. It's great exercise and something everyone can enjoy. Millions of Americans are saving money, reducing pollution, and easing congestion every day by simply riding to work, to the store, or to visit friends and family. Whether you are riding for the first time since childhood or you ride often, following a few simple pointers can make your ride safe and enjoyable. Hi, I'm Celine Yeager. You know that old saying, you never forget how to ride a bike? Well, it turns out that's only partly true. Sure, you can get on your bike and pedal, but do you really know how to drive your bike in today's traffic? Yes, I said drive your bicycle. You see, riding a bicycle is very similar to driving a car. The same rules of the road apply to both. In many states, bicycles are considered vehicles, so bicyclists have the same responsibilities and rights as motorists. Here are some tips for safe riding. First, Let's make sure you have a bike that fits you properly. Bikes these days come in a wide variety of styles and prices. Talk with the staff of your local bike shop about the kind of riding you'll do and choose the right bike for you. Hybrid and comfort bikes are great for everyday riding around town. Sport, touring, and racing bikes are better for longer rides. If you are riding off-road, head for the mountain bike section of the store for bikes with fatter tires and gearing better suited to unpaved trails. Getting a bike that fits makes it easier and safer to handle and much more enjoyable to ride. Make sure there's an inch or two between you and the top tube on a road bike. And on a mountain bike, you want the clearance to be more like five inches to make it easier and safer to get off the bike on rough terrain. Adjust your seat height so there's a slight bend in your knee when your foot is on the pedal in the downmost position. There are three pieces of equipment that you will need to stay safe. First, a bicycle helmet. You need to wear a bicycle helmet regardless of your skill level or reasons for riding. It is the single most important piece of safety equipment you can use. It significantly reduces your chance of head injury if you crash. Be safe and be a role model for other bicyclists. Wear a properly fitted helmet each time you ride. A properly fitted helmet should be comfortably snug. It shouldn't shake and it should sit on your forehead about two fingers width between the brim and your brows. Your helmet should sit level on your head. And then make sure that the sliders meet in a V under your earlobes. Chin straps should be snug under your chin, with room to breathe, of course. Second, if you are riding at night or in low light conditions, you need lights and reflectors. Every state requires bicyclists to have a white front light and a red light or reflector on the back of their bike. Third, you want to be seen and recognized by motorists at any time of day or night. So wear bright clothing with reflective tape or markings. And now one more thing before you set off. You don't want your bike to fail you. So get in the habit of doing the ABC quick check before you ride. A is for air. Check that your tires are properly inflated. They should be pumped up to the inflation rating printed on the tire. Many bicycle pumps come with a pressure gauge, so you can make sure they're properly inflated. Low pressure tires can easily puncture. B is for brakes. Check that your brakes are working. Your brake lever shouldn't come closer than a thumb's width to the handlebar. Your wheel should spin freely when the brakes are off. C is for the cranks, chain, and cassette. Grab both crank arms like this and wiggle them to make sure they aren't loose. Spin the pedals and make sure the chain runs smoothly through the gears. Quick means making sure your wheels are on tight if you have quick release wheels. The wheels should be snug in the dropouts and the quick release lever fastened tight. Finally, check to make sure nothing else is loose on your bike. If there's anything you can't fix, take your bike to your local bike shop and get a professional to help you. Now we're ready to ride. Remember, bicyclists have the same responsibilities and rights as motor vehicle operators, so we follow the same rules of the road. Here are some important rules to remember. Ride in the same direction as traffic. Bicyclists riding the wrong way can cause a crash for two reasons. Turning motorists, in particular, are not looking for you there, and you can't see and follow the traffic signs or signals if you're heading the wrong way. Obey all traffic signs, signals, and road markings. This means stopping at stop signs and red lights, and yielding to crossing pedestrians. It also means 
riding in turn lanes when you turn, and straight lanes if you're going straight. Ride defensively. Look before riding out of driveways. Always look for turning vehicles and pedestrians in your path. Look behind you before changing lanes. Know the law. Laws differ in each state or jurisdiction. In some areas, it's illegal to ride your bicycle on the sidewalk. If you must ride on the sidewalk, look for turning or crossing vehicles at driveways and intersections. Every community has different rules and regulations for driving a bicycle. Know those that apply to you, obey them, and set a good example for others. Avoid road hazards. Carefully ride around drain grates, gravel, glass, and debris. Be predictable. Help motorists know exactly what you plan to do. Signal, make eye contact if you can, and ride without swerving. Signaling and checking behind you while riding straight takes practice. So working on these skills in a vacant lot is a smart idea. Stay to the right and pass on the left. This applies to the road and riding on a shared use path or trail. On a path, give an audible signal and always yield to pedestrians and people on horseback. Pass on your left. When trails cross roadways, use caution and obey any traffic signs and signals. Bicycling is fun, but it requires all your concentration. It requires using a helmet, lights, and bright colored clothing, and a bicycle in good repair that's properly fit to you. It requires you follow the traffic principles and be prepared to avoid hazards. This film was produced by the League of American Bicyclists with support of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. I'm Celine Yeager. Ride safe.